Welcome back to Ambercasts, where we last left off. We had just printed Hello World to some extent to the screen. And so now we're going to do what we should have done to begin with and write tests for this. So we're back on our regular screen. We're going to run the Amber IDE. And you'll see that Amber actually bundles an SUnit browser with, um, with the IDE. So we've got our greet method on hello world. So we're going to write a hello world test case. And we're going to make it a subclass of the test case uh, object. We're going to put it in the resin demo test package just to keep it separate from the rest of our of our code. Go and save that, create it. Now we can bounce over to SUnit and we can select we'll just select our tests and we'll run them. You'll see that no actual tests ran because we haven't defined any yet. So let's go ahead and define a method. Let's test our greeter. And where we last left off, the greet method was literally just adding text to a DOM element in the view. So we're going to write a test for that functionality exactly which means we'll want to grab the div itself, which is resin container. Just to be safe, we'll empty it. Um, we'll uh, go ahead and invoke our greet method, just the same way we were doing before in the workspace. And then we'll set up our assertion. In this case, we're just going to assert that the value of our container is what we would expect it to be, which is in this case going to be hello there test bot. Go ahead and save this, and then let's run it. Let's see, we got one pass test run, so that's good. Let's go ahead and make it fail just so we can see what that looks like. Just add a lot of T's to test bot. We'll run it again. See that we've got one test failure. I'll just go ahead and change this back to where it works again. Okay. Now, this is all kind of hackish, I think. We should really refactor it. So let's go ahead and open up resin demo. And look at our greet method. We're doing some rendering here. When really, we should probably just return a string. So let's go ahead and start by updating our test first. Let's say we'll just do a self-assert, hello world, new, greet, send test bot along, and then make sure that it render, or returns effectively um, the string that we want it to, which is hello the old test bot. We'll remove all this other stuff, and we'll go back to the test browser run it, and see that we've got a failing test. Because we got a hello world object backed, but we expected that string. So let's go back to our browser, and let's update the greet method. And we'll just go ahead and return the concatenated string. We'll jump back over and run the test. Still one failure. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we've got a, a, a space in there. So let's jump back over, add our space, go back, run the test. We still have a test failure. The strings look pretty close, but they're not quite. There's a, uh, <laughs> a case insensitivity issue. Go ahead and fix that. <laughs> and then we'll run our test again, and we have a passing test. So that's great, but now we're we're not actually rendering anything. So let's write a test for the rendering. This is gonna look a little more similar to the uh the original test that we wrote. 
grab our container we'll empty it just like we were before whoops well first we'll set up our our test expectation which is that we get a expected string out of out of the greet method we'll make sure that we clear out that container first then we'll assert that the value inside of the container meets our expectation and so this failed because well Frankly, we're not doing any sort of rendering right now. So let's add a render on method. Render on is uh, is styled after the seaside rendering uh, code, and is a method added on to the onto all widget subclasses, which allows them to be rendered onto the screen. So we're just going to say HTML with greeting, which doesn't exist yet. So we'll create the greeting instance variable. We'll jump back over to our greet method, and we'll go ahead and set our greeting instance variable. I mean, whoops, I mistyped. So let me just jump back over and make sure that my tests still run correctly. Okay, we still have just the one failure. So I need to refactor my tests a little bit as well because I need to keep a handle on to that hello world object. Let's run this test one more time. And ooh, now we've got an error. I'm gonna jump ahead here. I uh, spent a couple minutes debugging a missing dot. So having added that extra dot, I'm gonna run back and I'm gonna run my tests. And now all my tests pass. And that's testing with Amber.